Welcome to another edition to the Assassin's Sports Show, guys. Thank you for love, appreciation. You bring each and every day. Y'all have the face time on the place. I cannot do this show without you guys. Thank you for likes, thank you for the shares, thank you for your comments. And guys, thank you so much for taking time to watch my videos each and every day. I cannot do this show without you guys. Plus, guys, if you pass about the YouTube channel, you like the content, you like the show, hit that subscribe button, become an Assassin today, guarantee. So, guys, thank you, thank you so much for everything y'all bring to this show, guys. Your comments are just amazing. Y'all blowing up the comments. Y'all blowing up my um my my views, the watch hours, everything that y'all bring to the show, man. I like I t tell you time and time again. Thank you so much, guys. Y'all make this show happen, and I cannot say thank you enough. And the other thing, guys, it's just been amazing. I told you this time and time again. I work for a living. This is a hobby, and nobody believed in this show, but y'all did. To my original assassin, y'all did. Y'all believed in it. To my new assassin, y'all believe in this show. Thank you so much for subscribing. Uh, when nobody believed in me, people told me, you're not gonna get nobody. You're not, you only gonna get 10 or, or 20 um, subscribers and that's it. And that's because of your friends. And for y'all to watch this show, comment on this show, y'all might not like some. Some things I said, I might be wrong on some things, or I might be right on some things that y'all might not like. But you know what? It's everybody has an opinion in this show. Not other show will have this opinion. Y'all do. Other show, they care about their self. This show is all about the fans and to hear y'all voice. And, and that's what makes this show different and interesting. So this video is gonna um, talk about guys it's the Miami Heat and the Philadelphia, um, oh, I can't say it, the Sixers. Philadelphia Sixers, man. So, 76ers. I don't know what's going on today, but the 76ers. Um, the Heat had a lot of guys out with COVID protocol. Um, the 76ers should have dominated us from the stuff, but they didn't. They didn't, surprisingly. And, and that's surprising to me. A team world coach should have dominated Miami. Miami then has set then it had their stars. Um they they had just like the B team out there. Yes, we had Hero, Robinson, Precious, but we didn't have size. We 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 didn't have anything. And for Miami to hang in there to have an overtime and all that, that was amazing to me. Amazing. So great, great um fight. But the Miami Heat, grit. that's the team I love and expect. And that grit and that fight, and they fought all the way to the end. And, and I got a problem with the official. I'm going to talk about that. So the game was close throughout. 76 was up by 12. Miami came back. Hero had a, a credible game. He, he will, um, uh, I got a problem with Hero and that, you know, in the end. But it was a critical great game by Miami. Miami um, fought to the to the end. That's all you could ask for when your star players are out. Like Jimmy Jimmy Bucket was out, Bam was out, Dragic was out, and even Haslam was out. That leader, and not that Haslam was gonna score or give you points, but it, it's that voice of his. And for them to fight and to battle a, a, a great team, a good team, it was a, it was surprising. So, yes, Miami fell short. But you know what? They fought their hearts out. They fought to the end. And that's all you could ask for. Now, Hero had an incredible game until the very end. He lost the ball. And LBJ was hitting shots at the shots. They couldn't stop him. It was like nobody could stop him because you didn't have Bam in there to put, you know, like size on him. Um, Leonard was out. You couldn't put him in there. So it, it was just, it was difficult. Um, the officials, the last one, you could clearly, he carried the ball. They didn't call it. That You want to say that was, I don't think that was a foul. No, they call it. A foul, whatever. Um, but the official was horrible. That was a horrible call. Should not get that call. 
that let them play because that was not a foul. And and to make it up, he carried. And for for them not to call that, that was horrible. And I don't want a, a letter of apology uh, on the NBA saying, well, you know, me messed up. No, y'all know y'all messed up. So that was just not good. Not a good look for the NBA officials. Um, I mean, every, listen, they fought their hearts out. They, Eric Sposa did an incredible job getting them prepared. Now they face them on Thursday. Um, so they're going to have a difficult time because I don't know if... If Jimmy could come back, I think he's still, I think they still going to be out. Uh, I mean, I don't know who's going to be, who could come back. And then the time they miss on the court, the chemistry and all that. So again, it's just, this, this year's just been a difficult year for everybody. I think they should have did like a bubble kind of thing. And, 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 and so be it, but it, it's just, it, just COVID is messing up everything right now. Um, so, but it's pro protocol. See what happens. Um, so, so I'm proud of this team. This team fought to the very end. Um, no shame of losing to a good team, but I just didn't like the official costing us that game because they did. At the end of the day, they cost them the name, the game, because that should have been a carry Miami ball, and that would have been two shots basically. But again, it is what it is. They didn't call it, so move on. They went to overtime. Um, it, no, it just, we couldn't stop Embiid. Embiid was just hitting shots after shots. That was the only, he, he was carrying the team, basically. Um, we just was missing shots in the end. I think that was just tired. We just had, we had eight guys, guys, and, and they was just dead tired. You could see the fatigue. They couldn't do it no more. So, my hats off to this team. They, they fought themselves. They fought all, all the way to the end. Um, and, and that's it, man. And Philly is a good team. It's a really good team, so. I think Miami needs one more star player here. I don't know if, I don't think, listen, James Harden, nice player, but I don't want him here. And that's not, that's just not a knock. I just don't want him here. I don't think the chemistry, the chemistry will match. And he's too much of a, he needs the ball. So, and he doesn't play great defense. And Miami's proud of themselves and playing great defense. So, all that considered, I mean, it was a good, like I said, it was a, they fought, they fought. Miami Heat fought to the end, and but they, you know, it happens. You lose. Um, What else? I, I think Ever Sposa is doing a fine job this year. It, it just, it's too much going on. COVID, you know, they come out of a short, a short season, quick, it's a, quick turnaround so it's one of those things it's just you know it's really tough i'm surprised the nfl it has not had so much things going on with it so so that that's my take on the heat guys um tell me what y'all think um are y'all proud of the heat um do you think he will cost us the game with that fumble or you think the official you know blew it um, you know, comment below, guys. This is your show. Um, but like I said, again, I'm proud of this team. They fought to the end and, and we came up short. We just came up a little bit short, but that's, that's how what happened. Other thing that I don't like that automatic, you just miss. I think they should have hit that, the lap, let uh, Robinson hit the shot on the free throw. If he miss, he miss, but he makes, he makes. And, and and you play on, but I don't like those things that you you try to miss on purpose. I just never understood it. Again, it happens. Um, it's one of those things, guys. Real quick, guys, um, I'm gonna show you something that somebody designed, and this is gonna be the logo of the show, basically. And I hope you yeah, can see it. Oh, give me a minute. My boy did this for me. So you can see the Assassin Sports Show. And get, it has the Trojan. The Trojan and, and that. So that's the logo of this show now. Somebody drew it up for me and, and here we are. So 
and I, I like like glad like the gladiators and stuff like that. So that's the logo. So if you see, it's two different words, you know. So what you do? It's two different words. So and you glue th this kind of wood in there, and and that's how you get the logo. So wait, tell me what y'all think about it. I like it. That's gonna be the logo of this show. And tell me what y'all think about it. So tell me what y'all think about that that logo in there, guys. Um, so um what else Th that's it guys that's the show so tell me what y'all thought about the logo my boy made it if y'all want something like that hit me up and i give you his instagram his instagram thing he makes different kind of logos or whatever you want if you want a dolphin logo you want anything he he makes it not the dolphins kind of thing it's it's a little bit difficult but he will make it if you like anything else if you like a heat kind of thing you um Hit me up, and I'll give you his Instagram and, and DM him and he, he get the man is awesome um doing these things and he just is just amazing doing it. So 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 again, if you like something like that, let me know. And he makes it and he, he's really cool about it. And you know. So guys, that's it. That's my show. I hope you enjoyed it. God bless everybody. Um well, that, that's it. That's the show, guys. So remember, hit the subscribe button, share, like, um, hit the bell. Just tell everybody about this show, guys. Because this show, I want this show to blow up. Not because of me, because of all of us. To make this show the best show on YouTube. And and this is all about y'all, guys. Y'all have to face the run the place. Like I always say, this is all about y'all. Yeah, sometimes I got fans saying, man, I go to other shows, my voice is not being heard, nothing. And this show lets me air it out my my opinions and good, bad, and I get blasted and that's okay. Sometimes I deserve getting blasted and that's okay, but this is all about y'all. And I hit y'all and I, I got fans saying, man, you hit me up, nothing matter, late night. Nah, sometimes they hit me up late, but I'm sleeping. Like I say, I work, so, but I, I try to hit y'all up like fast but and and, and y'all appreciate that so that's why this show is different from other shows they don't other shows will not hit you up no with the comments i do i care about my fans and that's all i care about so guys that's it good night god bless